Welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to integrate Gemini AI APIs in Flutter based application for Android or web. Let's begin. So, we'll create a new Flutter project. Click next. Uh, you can name anything, probably I'll say Gemini API project. And let's so things I will leave it as it is. However, you can change if you want. Say, for example, organization, I can change to my uh, name uh, of my yeah, portal, programmer world. And those are things I will leave it as it is. Then click create. It may take a while to create an environment. In the meantime, I'll just show you a few other steps. You should go to the AI studio in google.com and uh, you will ha we'll have to generate an API key to get the access to the Gemini's. So just click on this create uh, API key. It will ask you to select a project. So just select any project, say for example, demo project and create API. Once it creates the API, just copy it and keep it somewhere. We will need it in the code. In the meantime, our Flutter application is also coming up. So I'll do one thing. I'll just copy my API key in my text uh, notepad for now. Okay, so I think uh, this has come up and I'll try to run my application in a Google Chrome. So the default uh, application, whatever they give it. So let it come up and we'll wait for a while. So the default application has come up, whatever uh, the, the sample, the demo uh, it provides, which is like a Flutter demo application. It just increases, it gives an increment button. Now we'll do the uh, our update for our uh, purpose, which is basically integrating the Gemini APIs in this Flutter application. So let's go to the uh, documentation by clicking on this documentation button. And then in this, you can just go to quick start over here and it will give you the options of which particular application you want to develop or which particular language uh, you want to develop it for so for example android or python and so and so forth so here we want to use flutter so we select that and the steps are over here so i will follow the steps uh, from this page for that flutter so first step it says is install the Gemini api sdk for flutter we have to just copy this command and go to our android studio environment and over here in the terminal you have to just run this so just press ctrl v and run it it will take a while i'll tell you what will happen in this once you learn in this file of spec.yaml file you will get an entry for this particular dependency which is google generative ai by default it will not be there i should have shown you earlier but yeah it will get added once you run that particular command so that's fine i'll go back to my dart code and in the dart code okay so let me further go through the instructions so the second step is to set up your API key, which we have already done. So we have got the API key that's in our clipboard. Okay, so I don't know why it is. Yeah. And then the last step is to initialize the model or basically to generate a text from, and this is the complete code what they have given. So we just need this part of the code in our Dart code. So first let's do the UI part in our uh, application. So let me go back here. And by default, it provides me uh, this kind of interface. So I'll just do some uh, modification where I'll put a text, a scrollable text, uh, which will be for output and input text and a button. So let me do those changes and uh, get back. So the part of the code which I'll be modifying it is I'll change this all these methods. So there are basically uh, three methods here. One is my app. My app, I don't think I need. I'll just directly use the home page over here, which is a stateful widget as more than sufficient. So I don't think I need uh, my app, so I'll just delete it. And for the run app, I'll just use this for running the material app. So instead of this, what I'll do is I'll just comment this out and I'll just call the home page over here. It gives error because over here in the home page, it expects some kind of input variable. So I'll just remove it. I don't think I need to provide anything. And even in this one, I don't think I will need this all this increment and all. I can remove all these things. And now my code more or less looks good. Over here is expecting me to give some widget which is not there. So I'll just change it to demo app as a title. So if I go back to my Chrome, it should have changed automatically. If not, then okay, there are errors. That's why I guess. So okay, it's because so I can just text output and then there is no 
on press button so i'll just make it as null for now and no more error so i'll go back to my chrome and it will refresh automatically if it doesn't refresh you can just click on that uh, this is a small refresh button and it will refresh so yeah all my those things are done and they will know nothing happening on the increment button now uh, perfect so now let me update this code one by one so some of the local variables what i'll need is first i'll need a local variable a string output which i'll display over here instead of this string i can just and i don't think i need to set any kind of text and i don't think i need even this text one so i'll just remove this i'm just keeping everything simple and straightforward uh, these all are the helper hints given the default i can minimize the left hand side i don't think i need this anymore yeah so i can just keep cleaning and i don't think i need all this text yes so there's a uh, local variable which is string output which will keep the my output and uh, that will be displayed on that particular uh, text widget apart from that what else i'll need is is i will need a editor controller so i can just initialize it like this and then i'll need a method to fetch my this all these things so i'll go back to the documentation so for this particular I think I'll need a method so I can just copy this as it is control yeah and then go to my environment and paste it and I can change the main method to something like a, a fetch or Gemini output Gemini output let's so things leave it as it is and it may okay it's asking some error so let me see what is the error all about so import dot dot io do it okay I don't think I need this in fact I will just hard code the API key over here. That's not a uh, recommended post, but for simplicity of this tutorial, I'll do it. Import this library and this of things will be fine. Only the thing is, I need to update the API key so that we have anyway copied here. Don't use my API key, just FYI. I'll anyway change it. Uh, and over here, by default, they give some kind of uh, content, uh, write a story, but we will be taking the content from our this controller. So, what we'll do is We'll do one thing with I think we can just remove this also and I'll just check first if text view controller dot uh, no not the this text controller text controller dot text If it's empty, then just return this method. Don't do anything. Otherwise, just proceed. And over here, probably I'll do one thing. I'll just control. I shall fetch it over here first. I'll just comment out the first part. I mean, yeah, I'll update this by taking the input from this, which is basically the text part. Perfect. So now, in terms of method, we are done. We should now focus on completing our widget part so first part is fine we'll leave the app bar as it is now coming to the body uh, center alignment uh, all the things are fine now the text this text should be changed to some kind of scrollable text so what i'll do it is i'll update this text widget to something called expanded uh, text widget there's no things leave it, uh, as it is the only thing is there's a, a scroll view inside this okay so alignment to just make the alignment fine uh, just press okay this for some issue just select everything Control a and Control alt i will make all the alignment perfectly fine as required so this is for the first uh, uh widget which is the child widget which will be taken care and after that we'll in input uh, another widget which is basically for taking the inputs from the user so we'll do one thing we'll just put a text field and in that text field we'll use a text controller whatever we have initially initialized if I scroll further down back so and it will just take off the text field and once whatever the text is added it will just print it you can just if you don't want we can change this also we are not required but this is good for debugging purpose if you print the output in the console okay apart from that uh, we for the button pressed we have two options either we can keep using the floating action button whatever we are using over here or we can define another uh, button in this uh, children in this widget 
for now let me uh, try to reuse and see how it happens so uh, okay first let me see what how is this but it looks good so there's a text which we can input here and there's an output which will come here and there's a button so the only thing is instead of plus sign i will change it to something like uh, more meaningful so i'll just change this icon over here and make it as a text which is which will basically say gemini api so if i go back it should update this page and that button should change to gemini api but it is round i should make it a bit long so to adjust the size what we can do it is we can just simply change this floating uh, button to elevated button and i don't think tooltip is required also and we can just change it and on press we will do one thing we will call this particular method right uh, gemini output method whatever we have given over there uh, like this and i think that's all is what i understand so let me go to okay so everything looks nice so if i press here it will not, nothing should happen because it's empty so let me type something so say for example let me type write a poem on cloud and let me run it okay nothing is happening uh, and i was also expecting when we are i'm writing this uh, something sort of changed below but it's not happening so i'm just let me read on this and see So because why I was expecting something if I write uh, there should be changes over here in the terminal or no not internal I think over here in the output window so if I know like okay it's happening write a poem on cloud and a stars it's just a like random prompt I'm giving and then I'm pressing this button so if everything goes fine okay so something came in the over here however this is not getting updated and i think i understood what, what's the problem so the problem is over here in this particular method all we are getting a response but this is not getting the updated in this particular string so for that what we can simply do it is we can simply just add here set a state and this will get updated and the moment it gets updated it will also update the respective text widget uh, output as well so let me go back here and again try it right a uh, uh, story about uh, a bedtime, write, write a bedtime story, write a bedtime story. Let me see what it happens. I click Gemini API. So I'm expecting this some output should come here. Okay, perfect. So if you see, of course, these two outputs are same because uh, the same one. And if I uh, minimize it it's a scrollable because that's what we have set here in the single scroll it's expanded so it's a scrollable uh, window and it works so it gives some story which is from Germany uh, using your uh, uh, API and it brings the output over here so that's all for production uh, purpose I'll just remove all these uh, print statements those are anyway not required so simply I'll just remove this definitely not required in fact i think i can you know see if i can remove the complete on change okay i can change it. on change itself and one more i'll remove this one uh, there was a print here which is also probably i'll provide so yeah so after removing i just Restarted the application and just I tap power Gemini and she gives some nice answer uh, over here in this application. So perfect. So I'll put it back and I also do one thing. I'll just quickly run this in the Android uh, emulator to show how it works there. Let me start. Okay, app has come up in Android Studio. So let me just quickly start testing it. So I'll just uh, do something with. I'll just ask it to write a uh, write. a poem on sunshine so and then click on this then wait for a couple of minutes for it to bring the output over here perfect so it has brought the output or whatever like i can zoom it and show so 
it can print it. So that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, uh, video. Okay, poem is playing wrong, but I think that's fine. In this video, that how uh, easy it is to just integrate. Follow the steps over here. This is a main method where you have to uh, update here and uh, generate the API key from your uh, AI studio and then use it in the code. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.